गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू एडू एस फेयर टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम ऑफ द मोस्ट बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ जियोग्राफी दैट्स कीप्स ऑन कमिंग इन माइंड एवरी टाइम दैट वाट आर दोज लाइन्स विजुअल ऑन वर्ल्ड मैप दैट्स नथिंग बट वर्ट पैरल लाइन्स दैट्स वर्टिकल लाइन एज वेल एज हॉर्जेंटल लाइन वाट आर दोज लाइन्स राइट वॉट वी कॉल देम हाउ डज इट हेल्प to and locate any point right i will take any many points i am going to discuss that i am going to locate today so please be focused be concentric and achieve the goal and that will help you and keep locating each and every points coming fluct on fluctuating in maps fluctuating in news and all please understand how to locate it so i am going to discuss that how it's what are those lines right so the thing is that earth earth looks like just like what it looks like some elliptical it's not elliptical it's a geoid shape right geoid shape it looks like geoid shape right and from this top part i'm taking just example it's not earth i'm taking just example this top part is called that what uh, top part of our north pole and this bottom part is called south pole and just it's being divided into two equal halves one line is there horizontally dividing this earth into two equal half that is called line equator equator on the top part of equator is called northern half and bottom part of equator is called just below the line of equator is called the called southern half it divides earth into two halves right similar fashions this north pole and the south pole if you line imaginary line joining this north pole and south pole is called is called that nothing but what prime meridian prime meridian is a line joining north pole and south pole straight line right and this what line divide imaginary line divide earth into two equal halves northern part and southern half that is called what equator now i am going to locate those line of equator on this world map please be focused I think this word might be visible to you. Where is equator? It's here, right? This word might be visible to you. Equator, equator line. How much angle is visible to you? What is this? This is zero degree. This is zero degree. This is zero degree. This is called what? Line of equator, right? Line of equator. On this top, if you will see, on this top, that you will see, lots of lines are there, right? It's nothing but what? this is visible to you it might be visible to you this is what 75 degree 75 degree north and this this line this thing might be visible to you this is what 45 degree 45 degree south right this line these are all these are all parallel lines right these are all parallel lines so these lines are called imagine lines imaginary lines are called imaginary lines are called latitudes in hindi we can say latitude jo leta rehta hai means horizontal line Lo all vertical lines these lines are called these lines are called all vertical lines are called longitudes these are all both the lines are imaginary lines but the thing is that what why it's visible to us on the world map not in real because it's imaginary it does not exist exactly but we take help of that for locating any points on the map right so in how many parts generally it comes in mind that how many parts this entire how many lines are there first question comes in mind right so the thing is that if you will see here this equator line is there zero degree right so when you will reach on the top from zero to the top right so you will see somewhere this 90 degree will come here on the top right while you are going to go in bottom part from zero degree to southern part you will see somewhere 90 degree right lines 90 degree, right means you are moving from zero to 90 degree on the northern half and you are moving to zero degree to 90 degree in the southern half right so this entire this equator line comes in between 0 90 
means 0 degree to 90 degree north you are going to means how many lines are there 90 lines will come just above this word equator and this north pole how many imaginary lines will come below equator it's nothing but what 90 imaginary lines will come 90 imaginary lines will come just below the word equator right so total how many lines are there imaginary lines are there 90 plus 90 how much 180 in between that one line is there that is that is known as what that is equator means total how many lines parallel lines are there 90 plus 90 180 180 plus 1 181 lines are there 181 total number of lines parallel lines lying on the equator on the earth that along with equator that 90 plus 90 180 180 plus 1 181 imaginary lines are there total number of latitudes 181 right so total number of longitudes how much longitudes how much so from north pole to south poles that total number of lines vertical lines are there right how many lines possible lines are there just think yourself you will your answer will pop up in your mind that nothing but this earth this vertically is divided into <coughs> from zero degree to what from zero degree to what from zero degree to 180 right 180 right so i think that now it's very important to know where zero degree lie right zero degree line prime meridian that is nothing but prime meridian we are prime meridian lying prime meridian. this so this is line this is the line where that it's 12 noon is written this is nothing but zero degree while moving zero degree to you are moving towards which side just think you are moving eastern side or western side you go from zero zero degree to right zero degree to left so it's visible to you 12 noon right so from 12 noon you are moving left hand side 15 degree you are reaching 15 degree right from 0, zero degree to you are moving to 15 degree right right so it's not left right you need to understand you have you, you are learning maps so you should know from 0 degree you are move you are moving towards what which side eastern part eastern side so you are reaching 15 degree right again from 50 degree you are reaching to what 30 degree right this 30 degree, right how much time is visible to you just see it's what 2 p.m. right so it's 2 p.m. from 0 degree if you are moving left side left side that means you are moving to a western side right so the thing is that from 0 degree to you are moving to 30 degree 30 degree right so it's showing how much time see how much it is 10 a.m. right 10 a.m. or sorry it's 2 a.m. right and this is nothing but 2 p.m. 2 a.m. 2 p.m. sorry I think I discussed a little bit wrong so so thing is that this time clock I am going to discuss later so what will happen what's going to happen how it helps these lines to locate take any point on this map Suppose I am choosing, I am trying to locate any point. Suppose uh, uh, you take any point uh, which always important keeps on any point you pick. Suppose this point uh, line passes through um, any point in India. We are Indian, right? So we need to discuss point nearer to Ahmedabad. I am talking about point nearer to Ahmedabad this line right point nearer to Ahmedabad this point I am talking about this point nearer to Ahmedabad just above Narmada just above Narmada this point so for locating this point so you need to think this vertical line also vertical and going that nothing but this line 75 degree 75 degree 75 degree and this horizontal line I am talking about horizontal line that nothing but for Narmada this point I was talking about this point this horizontal line I'm talking about this is what 23 and half degree 23 and half degree right so 23 half degree means this point you can look at 23.5 degree north because it's above this line is lying this horizontal line is lying above equator there's nothing but what this is 23.5 degree north and this 75 degree this point is lying on this longitude that is 75 degree 75 degree is this line you can locate with respect to prime meridian 
which is prime radian that nothing but this uh, I have shown you this 12 moon right so 75 degree 75 degree from with respect to prime radian 75 degree where you are moving right hand side right hand side that nothing but what you are moving to eastern part so this point you can look at 7 this uh, 75 degree east and 23.5 degree 23.5 degree what answer it's north right so these things that uh, and one more thing that I thought of discussing you along with you that uh, omni there are few important latitudes are there that you should everybody should know that's nothing but called what uh, some important lines are there known as Tropic of Cancer Tropic of Capricorn so I'm going to show you Tropic of Cancer which line is called Tropic of Cancer this 23.5 right now I discussed it 23.5 this line is called Tropic of Cancer means latitudes of how much 23.5 degree north is called tropic of cancer similarly 23.5 degree south of equator this equator just in bottom 23.5 degree south where it is just see this tropic of cancer is top north side tropic of capricorn 23.5 that's called tropic of capricorn and just going bottom side of this tropic of capricorn what thing is visible what things would come just guess what things would come definitely it visible to you know this is what antarctica antarctica frigid zone this comes under frigid zone and just ever frigid zone what things would come that nothing but water just below tropic of capricorn one other line should come uh, that is uh, antarctic circle and arctic circle both comes right so bottom line antarctic circle at home is 66.5 degree it's not visible in this map Six, just it's given 45 degree bust you go about down you are going to get that 66.5 degree just below something for, below 45 66.5 degree south this part region between 66.5 degree south and tropic of capricorn that nothing but what's going to come this is tropic of capricorn right tropic of capricorn and 66.5 degree south we are going to get this part is called just think guess because you already studied in say, class 6 7 somewhere just like that nothing but tropic of capricorn and here some somewhere that 6666.5 degree south you are going to get which zone think temperate zone and just after 66.5 degree south and this 90 degree south you are going to get frigid zone because it's already coolest part right frigid zone and just going on the top part of this map that you are going to see somewhere that uh, tropic of cancer will come tropic of cancer 23.5 degree north and going in the top that nothing but you are going to get somewhere 66.5 degree north right so 66.5 will come in between 60 and here right so between tropic of cancer and arctic circle will come to arctic circle where let me see where it is arctic circle 66.5 here it will come yes this is arctic circle i think it's very visible to you i tried my best of showing you this is arctic circle this point is arctic circle 66.5 in between 66.5 degree north as well as here 23.5 degree 23.5 degree 66 degree arctic circle and here going down 23.5 degree and that nothing but tropic of cancer this part is called what which zone think this is called temperate zone and going on the top that 66.5 and the 90 degree north that frigid zone will frigid zone comes right like this and in next video i'm going to discuss about time zones right so that will come in next video one more thing i thought of discussing that nothing but what which through which states that nothing but what uh, tropic of cancer passes in india that you are going to dis learn in the next video thanks a lot see you bye bye and one more thing that for getting more video please like and subscribe my channel 
and I will always be natural in teaching. I will teach you directly from maps. So the thing is that it might be visible and it's good for practice for what map practice for UPSC exam. And uh, I think it's be natural, learn more and be exam oriented. Surely going to get succeed the exam. Bye bye and good luck.